This video app review is brought to you by the iPhone app review.com. Hey guys, this is Valerie Lauer with the iPhone app review.com here with a video app review of an application we've had here this week called Team Time Tracker. Now, this application is really applicable to anyone who does consultation work um, or any kind of freelance or hourly work where you need to track your time that you have to put on your invoice. Now, if you've ever had a job like this before, you understand that sometimes it's hard to remember, oh, when did I take that call? You know, what time did I start researching? What time did I get here? Unless you're really, really dedicated about stopping and writing it down. Now, this application actually gives you an easier option, which is to start a timer that gives you an exportable information that's really easy to turn into a simple invoice. So I like this application quite a bit. Um, and as you can tell, we already have it launched. There's a couple timers that we have entered. And um, one thing I do want to go ahead and just point out really, really quickly is that there's a quick timer option down here. Um, and you can start a quick timer anytime you'd like to by tapping right there to start a new timer. As you see, it pops down here in quick timers. The one we have right here has been running for a little bit. It was running before we even launched the application to do um, this review and the application was entirely closed. Your timers, whether you have the application up or not, will run. So please don't worry about you know closing it by accident or anything happening. It's going to run. It's going to be a, a secure place to have your time started, which is really cool. The main function here is in the timers tab. As we already talked about, you can start a quick timer just in case. Oh, hey, I forgot to set up a new one. You go and you tap on quick timer, and you're good to go. Any of these, you can. Go ahead and we'll tap on one that's been going for a little bit. You can tap on it to pull up additional information. We're going to go ahead and pause that one to say that we are done with it. And it was a quick timer to start with, but we can go ahead and assign it to a project that we had ongoing. You can select a task, set up a new one. You can even assign staff to it, which comes to the staff and their um, standard time per hour, um, which is all adjustable. You can add new people in if you'd like to. Now you can create this as a time entry, which means we're going to go ahead and save it, or you can delete the timer. We're going to create and do nothing. So here's actually your new time entry. Um, you can change your information from here. We're actually going to take a little quick look at some of these settings they have in here. You can actually adjust the time. Say you did get there and you meant to you know, clock in at let's say 9. 42, you can save that and you're good to go. Um, the duration, you can adjust. The breaks option, you can adjust. You can say whether it's payable, taxable, reported, or or paid. Um, you can have, add a reference number to it. We've been working with one. Easy to add. And you can actually add additional notes and things as well. Let's see, test item. and we're good. So once all this is adjusted as you'd like it, you can go ahead and save it and then you can go ahead and delete your timer because you've already taken care of it. So really cool, it doesn't appear there anymore, it's going to appear um, in your entry. So really kind of a neat application. Um, you can add a, a actual timer timer anytime you want to to make a new one. You can actually add a new project You can add a new client. Test client. You can add a billing method, which you can go in and actually adjust these, which I'm going to show you in just a minute, which I'll wire transfer check, but you can add um, custom payment methods if you like to. And you can actually add a uh, full name if you choose to for your new client. And you can link it to existing projects or new projects. The one thing I did want to say that gets a little confusing is while you're setting this application up for the first time with all your different projects and clients, it can get a little um, can, you know, cumbersome almost to get through all these because you know, this links onto that, links onto that. And by the time you're uh, through all this, then you're definitely wondering, okay, did I, did I do what I was supposed to be doing? Or did I absolutely you know, miss something important as I was going through the process? So just something to keep in mind. Um, it can be a little uh, frustrating um, to kind of know where you're going or to you know, make sure you're in the right place. So you'll save your new project information and then you have it as a test, as a new project. And then you can set your new timer for your project, your test, test module, or whichever one you select. And you can, you can add a task, you can add a staff, so it lets you, makes it really easy to us tell you, you know, how long um, a certain task was and how it was going under which under employee it was under, which is really great information. So that's the timers tab, which again, ton of information, I just threw it to you, but the bottom line is that it's a really, really 
thorough way to tell um, what's going on and how you're um, tracking time and to let it be ongoing and to make sure you get paid how you're supposed to. Under the entries area, you can actually see whichever number, um, dates have entries by um, this little yellow indicator right there. You can add a new entry manually if you choose to, either time or expense, and you can change your view to your entries and you can actually do a search. Now I thought that that tag I was using would be the easiest way to search for things. Um, unfortunately it would, it did not pop up even though I put it on several different things. So we can say search and it just doesn't show up where I was hoping it would show up. So those tags really aren't very functional unfortunately but otherwise not really any problems here and you can sort the view here by time, expense, or you can filter those any way you'd like to. So keep that list from being real cumbersome. Under clients you can always manage and add your new clients here. We saw that screen briefly before Again, if you want to make it a little bit easier, you can go ahead and do it from here. That way you have it all kind of separated. Under staff, you can add your staff information, including their rate, um, which projects they're assigned to, and their contact information if you so choose. And under tools, this is where you're going to be able to change your settings, which again, in my case, I liked that there was an option to add another, another payment option, which is PayPal. Um, and you know, this is where you can actually manage your name order and your management emails and exports if you want to be able to email them in these different formats um, and to save a certain type of documents you can, which is the next thing that we're going to look at. There's actually a really great reporting system. You can actually s export this information by email or save documents. So very, very simple, very straightforward, and really a great way to get to that. Um, you can also link this directly to a QuickBooks account if you so choose to. So really great for some small businesses. Um, there are some great little help files in case you want to know how to add and, and, and set up information, which are really going to break it all down for you, which we always like with a good tutorial. And there's some community information, but mostly this app is about these timers. Um, here at the iPhone app we did give this application a 4 out of 5 stars. Um, it's $4.99, so it def there definitely is a bit of a price there. Um, the layout is okay, but nothing really horribly spectacular. It does work really well on the iPhone. We're looking at the iPad version here, but it works perfectly on both of them. Um, there's a little, little room for improvement in the, the flow, especially if you're working right from the timer screen. Like I said before, you could create a new one, and then you are you end up um, you know, in this endless sea of you know, new things that you have to add in there over and over and over again. So a little bit of streamlining there would be maybe appreciated. Um, just a, as a kind of a side thought. But again, here at the iPhone app we did get, like, like this application quite a bit um, and give it a four out of five stars. With a couple of improvements, it could be even better, a better rating, but we do like it quite a bit. Um, and we definitely recommend it for anyone who runs a small business and needs to track their time for themselves um, or their staff. So definitely a good, uh, good uh, effort here for the first month that we've seen it. Here with the iPhone app again, this has been Valerie Lauer with a video app review. Until next time.